Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Webs here from Slider. You have seen too many videos and you know me too well to know that I don't leave things in half. In this video, I'm gonna continue where I left off in the previous video with very complex details about the touch framework and their interaction in Android. Here, I'm going to go to Android Studio and show you a practical example of how the dispatch touch event, the on intercept touch event and the on touch event methods of a custom layout a custom view and your activity interact with each other in real time to propagate motion events across the cycle in the meantime if you haven't seen the previous video be sure to check it out all right let's get this baby started so i have created the same structure which i discussed in my previous video i have my sub activity which actually has a custom layout inside it if you go to the text part here is the custom frame layout that I have made which is called my layout. Now inside this custom layout what I have is my custom view which you just saw here which says my view on the screen which is basically a subclass of text view. Now if you go here to the sub activity there are two methods the dispatch touch event and the on touch event. If you remember the previous discussion in the last video the dispatch touch event is where everything starts and the event is propagated to the layout from there. And here in the on touch event, this method is triggered only when no one else has handled that event. If you go to the my layout class, now I know very well that I have not taught you how to make custom views yet in my video series anywhere. And I will be doing so at the end of the material design playlist. But for now, my focus is not on creating a custom layout, it's on focusing on those three different methods that we have. So here is my my layout that extends frame layout. And if you see, I have three methods inside this custom layout as well there's the dispatch touch event as usual there's the on intercept touch event in this and then there's the on touch event method over here other than that there's my custom view which extends the text view here again i have the two methods there's the dispatch touch event and the on touch event and i have done the same thing in all those methods everywhere i have simply logged out the different events like motion event dot action down move up and cancel and i have printed the default values here now remember, each of these methods returns a boolean out here. So I have called super dot blah 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 everywhere to return the default values. Take a look, there is super in the my layout section again in all the three methods. I have called the super out here to illustrate the default behavior of how things work at this point. And I've also logged the return value for that. Now let's take a look at what happens when we touch a view and see how events are propagated in this scenario. So first let me show you the default behavior of the touch life cycle in android here i have my device which is up and running and if you notice these weird things at the top it's nothing but the settings that i've enabled in my developer settings to show touches and pointers on the screen now this is my custom layout in gray and my custom view is here at the center now if i just tap my view once take a look at all the things that are being triggered here let's try to understand what is exactly happening and this is the touch life cycle i'm talking about so the first thing is the activity. The first thing that's going to happen is the dispatch touch event for the activity is going to be triggered. Here, you know that it's action down, which means this log statement will be executed, which is exactly what you see over here. As you go down here, there's a super dot dispatch touch event. Now, as soon as you encounter this statement, the control is going to jump to your layout, which is your my layout inside your activity, which is the root layout for your activity. So here inside the my layout its dispatch touch event will be triggered same action is passed hence my layout dispatch touch event down will be called which is exactly what you see over here at this point again you go down the super implementation is triggered what's going to happen with this it's going to first call on intercept touch event to give your layout a chance to intercept or to steal the event from the children now inside the on touch event the same event is forwarded here which is action down which is why exactly you see the statement on intercept touch event down over here as you go further down you have the super implementation being called which basically does nothing much and here you it returns false over here to be frank with you and if you go further down the log statement that's exactly what runs here returning you a false now at this point the view group knows that it is not interested in processing the action underscore down event Rather, it's going to forward that event to the child inside the view group. Or in other words, all the children inside the view group. In our case, there's only one child and that is my view. So things are going to be inside my view now. So here, the dispatch touch event for this will be triggered. 
again the same event will be fired action down this is exactly what you see here for the view dispatch touch event action down at this point you go down the super implementation is called over here which is going to simply jump the control to on touch event for your view over here inside the on touch event same event is forwarded which is exactly what you see view on touch event down here at the bottom if you see i have said super dot on touch this returns a false by default therefore this log statement executes and it prints a false here on the screen at this point and remember all these things were happening while i was calling super dot dispatch touch event now the control comes to the next line here inside my view where the dispatch touch event returns false is exactly what gets printed at this point so at this point your my view has returned false here indicating that it is not interested in processing the action underscore down event so the control returns back above to the next statement inside the method dispatch touch event of my view remember we went from here to the on touch event so we are back here and this is the statement which you see here which is view dispatch touch event returns false because the my view has indicated that it is not interested in processing things so at this point your layout gets one chance one last chance to process the event which your view has rejected therefore control jumps back to my layout where the on touch event method is going to be called for the layout and as you can see that's the same action underscore down which is triggered which is the first case over here what's going to happen you're going to call the super implementation here inside the on touch event for your layout which is again going to return false it simply means that your layout is not interested in processing the event either therefore this statement runs here which is exactly what you see here in the next statement as the log cat now remember one thing all this was taking place after we called the super dot dispatch touch event for your my layout now control returns the next statement here which returns false because the layout was not interested in processing the touch event either so who should the touch event process go to now it should go to the activity so going back to our sub activity we are back to the on touch event inside the sub activity where you see this activity on touch down here Again, if you go to the bottom, the super statement is going to return false. And that's exactly what you see here at this point. Now, all this was taking place after we called super dot dispatch touch event for your activity. And the next, the next line is where the control returns to now inside this method, which is exactly why you see false here indicating that neither the activity not the layout not the view no one is interested in bothering about this event and this complete set of 10 statements is what a single event like action underscore down triggers in the perfect order which makes the touch framework in android now when i touch the view for a very small amount of time before lifting my finger i actually moved my finger over the screen triggering this move event that we have so the first thing that's going to happen is dispatch touch event for your move that's going to be called which is action move which is exactly what you see here but remember android is very smart it's not going to do all this work once again it knows that neither the layout nor the view was interested in processing the event the last time it triggered so this time it's not going to process in the, it's not going to send anything to those layouts and views that is there it's rather going to jump directly to your on touch event inside this part case action move which is this statement triggered over here in the on touch action move here you go down further the on touch returns false here it's the default implementation that's exactly what you see here at this point the dispatch cycle is completed after calling the super dot dispatch which means the controls return over here to the next statement which returns false which is exactly what you see here indicating that the activity was not interested in processing the on touch event either for the action underscore move because you explicitly returned false inside your on touch event by default so next thing that's going to happen is your up when you lift your finger again the same sequence of things happen you put you lift your finger up the dispatch touch event is going to be called it knows that neither the layout nor the view is interested so it calls on touch directly with that this which is this case over here action up this statement executes you see that in the log cat then you go down here this returns false which means your dispatch cycle is complete returning false indicating that the activity did not handle up either 
So this is the default life cycle of the touch framework in Android. In the next video, I will jump further and tell you about what happens when you intercept events, what happens when you disallow events, what happens when you cancel certain events and so on. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slider and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.